Ah, the Philoli Garden, where something is always in bloom, no matter the season. This historic backyard is the Red Rose of San Mateo County, and the past home of William Bourne, a rich miner trying to escape California's earthquakes. And little did they know that they're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the fault line. Regardless of the shaky location, the Bourne family lived here from 1917 to 1936, and they named the Grand Garden Filoli. A made-up motto of Fidelity, F-I, uh, love your fellow man and live um, a good life. Today, Filoli is open to the public, and for most of the year, the flowers are the main attraction. There, there's a pair, right? Oh, just went under. But during the winter months, there's <clears throat> a different kind of attraction. Are, were, were they riding piggyback there? Is that what was going on? It's called Amplexus, yes, to be polite. From about December to March, the hiking trails in Filoli Gardens are infested with frisky newts. Well, he's basically trying to stimulate her. That's called Amplexus. It's newt sex. Well, it's not just newts, frogs too. Oh, okay. You may know them as salamanders, but biologist Paul Litch the calls them by their green. scientific name. Terica granulosa, the rough-skinned newt. Winter is Paul's favorite time of year because that's when he gets to ponder the age-old biological question that surrounds the newts. How would a newt this big find the pond two miles through this stuff? During the mating season, newts live in the water, but when they're not mating, they live somewhere in the woods. You don't find them. Occasionally, uh, if you turn over a wet log or something, you might find one, but I, I can assure you I've turned over tons of log. I never found a newt. Newts are very slow amphibians, and they only come out of the woods when it rains. But for some odd reason, the newts that live in the Filoli live in this pond year-round. And this is unusual to see, for me, to see so many in the water. During the mating season, it's not uncommon to see the newts in what's called a mating ball. In the middle of this will be a female. It's often hard to know. You can't see her. She's covered with males. Eventually, the stronger male will woo the female, and she'll allow him to fertilize her eggs. Gotcha. During the mating season, newts are vulnerable to predators, but for good reasons, most animals, including Paul, don't dare touch the newt because I don't want to stress them because it's the poisonous kind and they produce a lot of toxin on their skin. While newts are poisonous, they're only dangerous if ingested. So I guess what you're saying is like, uh, don't, don't eat these things, don't put them... Don't, eat, don't kiss them, don't lick them. Keep them out of your mouth. <laughs> From the newt-infested waters of Filoli Historic Gardens, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.